And as Rockford continues to reel from last week's stabbing rampage, some of the victims' families will begin their goodbyes today. Four people were killed and others hurt in violent attacks in and around Rockford committed by police say one man. CBS 2's Marissa Perlman is live in the newsroom with details on today's services. Good morning, Marissa. Good morning to you both. Yeah, the community still trying to make sense of what exactly happened here. But in the meantime, this afternoon in Rockford, there will be visitation for three of the four victims of this stabbing. 15-year-old Jenna Newcomb, along with 23-year-old Jacob Schupbach and his 63-year-old mother Ramona, were killed last week in the violent rampage. Police say the accused suspects seem to target people at random going house to house in a series of seemingly unmotivated broad attacks in a 20 minute period. Rockford's mayor says Jenna Newcomb, who was about to turn 16, died protecting her younger sister and a friend in this attack. A shared funeral for the shoot box will be held tomorrow, while the Newcomb family will hold a private funeral for Jenna at a later date. All three victims again have respective memorial visitations this afternoon at two different locations in Rockford. The fourth victim, postal worker J Jay Larson, was laid to rest this past Wednesday. The suspect, Christian Soto, was charged with murder, attempted murder, and home invasion. He'll continue to be detained at the Winnebago County Jail. His next court date is April 15th. Live in the newsroom, Marissa Perlman, CBS 2 News. Dana. Marissa, thank you.